A number of activities have been lined up to celebrate Nelson Mandela International Day, including the unveiling of statues at Kunu as well as at the Nelson Mandela Museum in Mtata, which is where Leanne is this morning. President Solo Ramaphosa will be at the unveiling of the two human-sized Nelson Mandela statues, and this, of course, also forms part of the United Nations endorsed uh, Nelson Mandela International Day. So let's take you there now. Leanne Manis is there waiting to tell us more about uh, what's to be expected and, of course, the commemoration of this day and this very auspicious leader. Leanne, good morning. A very good morning to you, Sakina, and good morning to all of our viewers as I come to you live from Mtata this morning. And as you rightly mentioned, outside of the Nelson Mandela Museum in the center of Mtata. And uh, this, of course, the Bunga building, and this is the location of one of two statues that are going to be unveiled of uh, the former President Nelson Mandela on this, the 18th of July. That was, of course, the day he was born, not too far from here, uh, in the Eastern Cape. And uh, the second statue that will be unveiled will be the one of him in Kunu. And that will be before he was a statesman and more of a, of a younger boy growing up in those areas. So that's what's planned for today. And uh, of course, this year as well, marking 10 years since the passing of the, uh, the late statesman. And as you can see behind me, there's not too much to see. But this is the, the one statue and the one that's going to be unveiled a little bit later on today. We'll be speaking to uh, the CEO of the museum. Uh, Vuyani Boy in our next crossing. So we can get a little bit more detail about the statue, the cost of it, why they felt that unveiling not one but two statues is the way to commemorate Madiba. A lot of people asking questions about, you know, do we need more statues of the statesman no matter how great he was? Would Mandela actually want statues being unveiled of him uh, when the country is in the situation that it is in? But these are the kind of questions that we'll be asking. But also a little bit later on about about 10.30, the president is expected to be here, and uh, he's actually going to officially uh, mark this day. He'll be giving the keynote address and, of course, unveiling what the statue is. At this point, Sakina, I can only get a glimpse of the shoes of, uh, of the statue, <laughs> and uh, the, the shoes look beautiful. That's all I can tell you right now. The rest of it is all covered up in this bubble wrap, as many saying. <laughs> it looks a bit mummy mummified when it's wrapped up like this, but one can imagine that uh, this life-size statue will be absolutely beautiful once it is uh, unveiled or unmasked on this day. So we can see already the, the plaque is out here and where it's saying this commemorative statue was unveiled by His Excellency Mr. Cyril Ramaphosa, the President of the Republic, on the 18th of July 2023. And this marks the 10th anniversary of the passing of the father of the nation, the struggle icon and former President Nelson Rolihlahla Mandela. That's what that plaque says behind me. In the next crossing, we'll also go inside and we'll just show you what it is that's inside this museum that really does mark every step of the journey of Madiba's life from the moment he was born until he uh, passed away and that was exactly 10 years ago today and everything in between. Uh, it's quite a magnificent museum. I just wonder how many tourists they do get that do pass through these doors but they're hoping that this will enhance the tourism. How? Through a statue one may ask? Well hopefully we'll get those questions but you know when you drive around the roads here and the streets of Amtata and we see the potholes and people you know in in very desperate situations they they rightly do ask that question could this money not have been put to better use these are the kind of questions that south africans ask at a time like this and as much as you want to remember the legacy of an incredible leader and a leader that uh, brought about freedom to this country would this really be how he wants to be remembered well we'll answer those questions and more as the broadcast gets underway